Okay, this should be recording. Alright, this is how you disassemble the main assembly of an SM Cyclo Drive gear reducer. This is this one has been previously disassembled. There was normally a grease seal here that I've already removed, so just be aware of that. Uh, first we're gonna start, we're gonna take these this set of bolts out here. together. You have to get this off of here. Sometimes this sticks and you have to motivate with a hammer. That's just the mounting ring. Now that we're down to the main unit here. This is the output assembly. There may be uh, some additional parts on here, depends on whether they stick here or here. Just make sure you grab all of them. This one is stuck in here. Just gonna use a magnet. Gear reducer itself, there's a ring of pins here, there's a bearing with a retaining clip, a set of washers underneath it here to space things out. This is the wobble bearing, it acts as a crankshaft. These are the gear reducer plates. Um, to start, just pull these parts here out. If you can get these pins out, pull them out. They don't always, these are not all coming. There's another large diameter washer and a small diameter thick washer. All right, now we're now we're into just the ring, and this is the input subassembly here. So to separate this, same trick: putty knife. Again, don't damage the gasket surfaces. go. If this doesn't want to come out, sometimes you can push these pins out this way. Not all the time. If they don't want to come out, this is just a spare, spare assembly base that we use. Just take and put that on 
screen. You just take and tap these out. Now we have an empty pin plate. input sub-assembly. This is just a plate, a bearing, and a shaft. There is a retaining ring down in here that must be removed before you press it apart. Otherwise the housing will, it will come apart, but you won't put it back together. So, pull your retaining ring. Sometimes this will pull out like that. Sometimes you need to use the press to motivate it. There is a seal missing in here, and that's the input assembly. This just comes off the base. What's up? <laughs> Output sub-assembly. I'm talking to the camera, I don't know.